your loved one, your beloved son or daughter, you're going to go through that grief cycle. But I believe that the good news in all of this is that through that night season, that we have a God that's going to give us peace. And we're going to have a God that's not going to judge us for how we feel, right? Even if you go through this season that you feel like, listen, God, like, forget all the way people saying. Like, I don't care. Like, this was taken away from me, and this is what I want to do. We serve a God that is even able to hold us in that season. So find joy in that, right? Understanding that you forget what you were told. Like, it's not going to be you wake up one day and then joy will come. But it's just going to be a season. But I truly believe that as we do our part in the world and get an alignment, and then you also trust God to sustain you through this season, that's where you're going to get your memories from. That's where you're going to get that encouragement during those days that you feel like you're going to get up. When you wake up the next day and you just have the bad day. Because I heard you when you correlated. And we say that a lot in regards to, you know, God gave his only beyond God and Son. But like you said, Jesus came back, right? And that's real, right? So we have to even make sure that when we're even telling people the word of God, that we're even being sensitive and explaining in a way that people can understand that God is still God through it all, right? That your child may not come back, and that's the reality, right? right. But what has God given you to hold? And I believe that God has given you that peace and that joy that will come to God. So those are the words that I want to offer you, and then I also want to apologize on behalf of anyone that has failed to recognize you. Because as I said, my work is <clears throat> to get us in alignment, and part of getting us in alignment is recognizing just the power of black men. I don't think that we're going to heal until we really create spaces and position for our men to come back in the center of all we do. So I want to apologize for those that did not recognize you, those that bypass you, those that felt like they needed to give more care to the mother or the grandmother, because you matter. I, I couldn't imagine a life without my dad. And like I said, a father's love is a different type of love. So I want to acknowledge all that you're going And I want to acknowledge you. Yes, sir, Chef Mike. How you doing, brother? This is uh, Chef Mike with uh, Steakhouse, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Chef Mike, I'm at Steakhouse, supporting the community. I yes, sir. It. This brother supported the fathers two times. Yes, sir. Come on down here. It's at 4th and Broad, 328 East Broad Street. Some of the best food cooked right here. Right. It's a community man. He partners with the community. Yes, Definitely a good dude. Yes. Thank you, sir. One love. All right.
how oppressors have oppressed us. And this is real talk. This is real talk right here. And I won't ever, I'm not that guy that like a lot of fluff and fluff. That's good. I'm well trained. I've been to seminary. But before I went to seminary, I lived in Blackwood. And I still live in Blackwood. Ain't going anywhere from Blackwood. My church is in old road. And I talk to the brothers when I come out of church and go in before I go into church, I'm talking to them. In the middle of the block and there you whatever. Because I went to school with all of them in a system that celebrates offenders. And when we are offended, they can care less about us. That's what I heard you say. Except for. I jotted down that we're real men with real feelings. And feelings come before we think about it. And that's just the order. When I heard when the call came to me, Rupert is dead. Rupert is. And the first thing came to me, he's too young. Who killed him? Because he just didn't drop dead. He was healthy like me, but he didn't drop dead. I knew. Now, they just gave the guy 25 years. It was the first homicide that they really gave him 25 years because the guy turned himself in. I don't feel no better about him going to jail because they sent him to him. That's my fear. That's my fear. Because who's in the day? I don't need him. He dead. So the sentencing didn't do justice for me. But Rupert is dead. And that's real. Can I be transparent? Come on. Yeah, come on with it. Nobody could take my sermons like Rupert and turn it into a song. I have nobody that can replace Rupert. And that's Real, I would live that. It ain't a, just a season for me. It's the rest of my life. And that's real. This, this is hard time for me every year. My grandma died in 83 or 82 Thanksgiving. 